Hi everyone, welcome back to Orkata for Beginners. Today we'll walk through how to ensure date and date time data display properly even when the data types between two applications don't match. In this recipe, I've added a step to post a message in Slack whenever a Jira issue is updated. And when I open it up, we see the message will notify the engineers in a Slack channel with what case was updated, with the case number, and at what time it was updated so they can be notified immediately when changes are made. And I have the Slack channel open here for ticket escalation updates. However, down below, we can see when I test the recipe, the last modified date posts in this strange format neither I nor our engineers can understand. So let's see how we can fix that. Now we want the last modified time in a readable format but the Slack field only accepts strings indicated on the left. Well, the good news is there is a way to transform the data, and we can do that with formula mode. And I can switch this field to formula mode if I click on formula above the data field here. Now in formula mode, I can look through some of the recommended formulas listed beneath. And if the help menu doesn't pop up, you can click shift and space to bring it up. And here, I just want to make the timestamp readable. So if I scroll down, I can find the formula dot to underscore s, which converts data to a string. I'll select that. And if I scroll below, it shows me that I can make the timestamp readable by typing in colon long in parentheses. So I'll type that in, and let's see if that does the trick. In order to see if it works, I want to rerun the same event from my last test. I can do that by going to the top of the recipe and clicking test jobs. And from here, I can view the events of the recipe that just ran. And to the right, I can repeat the event to test any updates to the recipe without having to make a new update. So it looks like the test was successful. Let's click into the data for the Slack step. And we can see here to the right that the data came out in a format that I can finally understand. So let's check Slack one more time and in Slack, the message was posted for the same case number, 50, and the time is readable. But wait, taking a closer look, the date is correct, but the time is still not right. It says 1830, which translates to 6.30 p.m., when the last modified date was actually 11.30 a.m. So let's check back in Salesforce, and we can see the modified time is indeed 11.30 a.m. In situations like this, especially in ticket management, where response time is critical, the last thing we want is for our team to be misinformed about the time. So what's going on here? Back in Mercado, in the data tree, we can see that the date time is written in an international standard format, which doesn't take into account our time zone. So to adjust for the time zone, I can go back into the data field and add a formula. Before I convert the field into a string, I can type period I n, and below we can see that the formula in time zone popped up. So I'll select that. And below it shows me exactly how to convert into Pacific time where we're located. So I'll type that in, America backslash Los Angeles. And great, it looks like we're good to go. I'll save the recipe one last time. I'll go to test jobs. I'll click repeat to rerun the event. And awesome, let's see if the data came out the way we need by clicking into the last step. And on the right, we can see that the date and time have come out correctly. So let's check into Slack one last time. And there it is. The updated post now shows both the accurate date and time and is in a format that anyone on our team can understand. Now, even though the data types between Salesforce and Slack did not match initially, we had the tools ready to help transform the data. To learn more about data mapping and formulas for data transformation, check out our docs at docs.workado.com. I hope this helps, and as always, thank you for watching.